This video this has video been has brought been to you brought by, by Diller's Uninstallation Station. Station. When you really you gotta, gotta install. And you gotta, and you gotta do, do it now. It now. Make sure to install Deller's Uninstallation Station. Attention Radical Heights contestants, incoming prize packages for your enjoyment. Spin to win! Spin to win! Spin to win! And what do they win today? A DSP video. So, uh, how's it going? Almighty underscore the guy here. And uh, we have an animal review video, actually a few animal review videos. But the first animal review video is labeled Paper Mario, the Origami King, playthrough, part 14. This is a very talented animal, you see. Major overtime. That's the only part we really need to focus on. This video has 41 dislikes and 19 likes, obviously trolls. And it's two hours long. And you may be saying, wait a minute, Tevin. Wait a fucking minute. DSP played one game for two hours in one video. He didn't, he didn't make multiple videos. Like, no shit. For real? And I'm like, yeah, for real. And you may be saying, holy crap, this Paper Mario game must be fun AF. Maybe. But that is not the reason why DSP played for an hour extra. Of course, he played an hour extra because he wanted to hit the vest goal. As, as with most things in, in, in the human world, does that make any sense as a statement? It does now. As most, with most things in the human world, it revolves around greed. So let's see. I, I made some fake timestamps that I totally didn't set 10 minutes before I decided to make this video. 59 minutes in. What the fuck was happening? Wow. 100%, 100%, He's dead. 100% 33. So I get the feeling there's one hidden treasure I didn't get. And then if you... Oh, I see why I did this. Now, of course, as most people who are familiar with this specific breed, we know that when he decides to discuss these types of things, you know, he starts to check the map. He, he wants to know if he can save, when he can save why he should save it's like oh it must be clock out time it must be close to what 7 p.m no 9 p.m for him at night or uh 4 p.m if it's the afternoon so let's see we what's the time again 59 minutes in to this two hour long video he is 30 dollars into the vest goal as you see the animal is currently vestless something is wrong with his picture get all the ninjas you probably get the final hidden treasure right that's right? my guess <laughs> <laughs> the all throw right. clear of course well let's get out of the fun house and then we got to save and that's the end of the that's the end of the uh, stream guys <clears throat> jordan and paul choose if it ends can we have a 223 vest celebration no we cannot have a 223 vest celebration two two threes oh my god excuse me Ooh. he leans into burp and a snort double snort big ups all right, going back. <sighs> now this is all, of course, this is all part of the marketing. Now, technically, this should already be over with, right? Like, let's say if this is a TV show, if this was the, a, a wrestling streak, right? And the show went to copyright before this dude could finish winning. I mean, if that happened multiple times, you might have to make a storyline explaining how the streak's still going. But we don't have any writers, though. Or do we? Who knows, dude? So, but, um, I mean, <laughs> it's really not much of an excuse for this. Besides, he obviously kept playing to get somebody to eventually give him money. I like to imagine it's some dude at home, right? And he wants to give DSP the money. He's looking at the tips goal, and he's like, man. It's a lot of money I got to give him this time. I gave him some last time. Maybe somebody else could do it. And the somebody else, they're at home. They're like, oh, shit. Just $30, huh? Well, I mean, I could give him like 50 and somebody might be able to give him the rest. And then it's another dude. And it's just a line of Derek's. A line of Derek's and Rob's and fucking in Blaine's 
all of them at home looking at the looking at the tips goal thinking oh my god the vest streak is in danger phil what are we gonna do and this vest streak shit dude it's 100 percent just the only thing that's going on with dsp and I, i'm not saying like i want something to go on with him but holy shit he always shamed his viewers for talking about other stuff and not talking about the game but his entire stream every stream it's about the vest. And then when he get money for the vest, the conversation shuts down unless you ask him about food or something. This dude post vest has nothing to say unless it's still about the vest. And then he gets mad at people for bringing up the vest all the time. But you have to bring it up because it's on your layout. And if you get $100, you put it on. And he has multiple emotes of this vest. And they're all like plastered and funny looking and suspicious. Uh, but in our end, this is the second video of the night. He only played for two hours a night. It's a really strict thing, or at least it used to be before the vest streak existed. And as one thing you can say about the vest streak, it existing technically gives you more, but then it gives you less. But then at the same time, DSP didn't really have much to give in the first place. So I don't know. It's a bit of a mixed bag, as scientists all around the world would say. He's stalling, guys. I have to say the game, stupid. People are now, because here's the thing. So now... He do this every night, by the way. It's three videos that we watch, we watch in, in this, in this amazing video I'm producing right now, currently. It's three videos we're watching in this, I think. Maybe t at least two videos we're watching in this, parts. And you watch one, you watch them all. You can go to every single night stream DSP has done. The last, fuck, 50 night streams, dude. At least the last 50 night streams. And it's vest discussions the whole fucking night. He tell you before he even turned the game on, if you want to prevent people from being annoying, give me the money now so I can put the vest on now. And here's the thing, if he gets the money early to put the vest on, yeah, he put the vest on early, but then like an hour later, he complained about being hot. And then sometimes he take the vest off. He's done that before. Thank you for the money. You gave it to me early like I want it. I'm going to take the vest off early because I'm hot. It's a heat wave, you guys. It's 78 degrees outside today. It's going to be 90 in four days. Like this dude will complain. I'm kind of going on a tangent. But this dude will complain about his weather four days from now, right? And he will complain about it every day up until the day when the weather is actually like that. And then the day the weather is actually like that, he bitches about it the same amount. And he's like, it's a heat wave, it's a heat wave, it's a heat wave. And you check the weather, it's like 70 degrees. And no, it's a heat wave in four days, it's going to be like 93 for a day. That's the heat wave. But he bitches about it four days ahead of time. I don't know how I get, get to that talking about the veg shit. Looks like the vest streak's ending. Uh. So now people just want me to end the stream so it ends. <laughs> instead of just saying, oh, well, I actually have to go save my fucking game. <laughs> we should have to go through this room again. I guess he can talk about, he can talk about the, the weather. DSP can oh, be the God. weather man. Back to the ladder. Bada boom. And go up again and walk through here. Why wow, this game looks guys, so fun? You don't have to worry. It, it, you have to do you, this to I, go save, I, really. I had a feeling. Truly, uh, truly, and honestly, it was gonna end soon. Look I how slow he's playing. I, that, it was Look how much, on much purpose this is. The best goal every night. It was and it's so obnoxious because he sits in front of his viewers who give him money and tell them that they're not gonna give him money. He does that for whole streams. It's whole streams of this. Whole streams of this, like, the really specific form of thottery low-key. Well, uh, thank you for what you've given me, but <laughs> you're not, you're not going to give me more. Oh, my God, you gave me more? <laughs> well, thank you for the more, but you're not going to give me more. And then you give him more, and then he says, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. And then he kisses Cat. Hilarious, I know. And harder and harder and harder. 
and I knew eventually what would happen is there would be a game that he's been saying this for months. It's been viewers. months of this. Every time this happens, this has happened in other videos. This is gonna happen in other videos we watch too. This happens every single time when he playing one of these fucking chill games that he forces himself to play and he's falling asleep and he's not talking and no one's talking about the game. They're talking about Wings of Redemption and like speaking in code and shit. So it don't even matter what he play anyway. In all honesty, I don't know why he still even make himself do full playthroughs. That is one thing he got over a bunch of people. But is it really is it really worth it? I don't know. In reality, what is worth it? Who knows, dude? Who knows? And you have maybe the, the generous contributors weren't going to be around. Maybe the generous game. ones. And they would just assume someone was going to do it. But he sit up here and he tell his viewers every day that they're not going to give him the money they're giving him every day. Like, holy shit. And here we are. Didn't happen. So. Absolutely and shameful. And give, give, give the good one to stalling, sure. I'm sure stalling's legit. <clears throat> Who yeah, cares? Right. You still get 250? Holy crap. Don't you have... Dude. <laughs> He has a literal fucking sub goal. And he bitches when he gets a gifted sub to an account name that he don't agree with. Really? It's not even mean. It's an account named Stalling. He's gotten gifted subs to accounts named like Cat getting blacked, Tevin Black Cat, and shit. And he's getting flustered at one being called Stalling. Ah, oh, god damn it, dude. This is nonsense, bro. I'm sorry. This dude is, his streams are outrageous at this point. But I'm, but uh, yeah, my point though, you can't have a fucking sub goal on your screen like that. You want to get mad at subs getting gifted? You're going to ban them anyway. You still get the 250. Holy crap. Just let it, it's, it's popped up on the screen. It don't even matter. Fuck it. Leave it alone. <laughs> Look how much he checks Streamlabs. All right, I gotta do this again, then we're out of here. Here's a save point. Well, I, I, I mean, I'll go to the front gate. I won't, I won't end it here. I'll go to the. Front. Remember when he said he was saving and then end it in this same video? He gets to the save point. He's literally look, looking at the save point. Look how far he's thirty dollars out of a hundred for his vest goal. I mean, tips goal to continue the vest streak. He tell us. Well, when I get to the save point, I'll end. Gets to the save point, looking at the save point. All right, I won't end it here. He plays for an hour extra. And spoiler alert, at the end of this, he says this was his reward for his viewers. He was being nice by playing an hour extra. Yes, the dude that gets $100. After talking about a clothing item for two hours, he gets $100 to put the clothing item on. He plays for an extra hour. Plays for an extra hour. And he's being nice to you. Front gate. No, this isn't stalling. Just, I want to go to no, I'm not stalling. It's not true. It's not true. It's not stalling. I'm just playing the game. Come on, bro. Okay. You, you love the, the video games. I knew I was right. I knew it was going to end soon because I had a feeling that people were going to... Just assume that someone was going to What's the point in saying night. this? I knew it was going to be... I knew this streak was going to end on a late stream. I absolutely knew it. Yeah, I, I called it that my own pay pigs wouldn't pay pig enough. Whoa, congrats. You're being correct about this negative thing about... You're not even negative. And then he was wrong. <laughs> this is reverse pigology, obviously. Yo, Mario's having a ball. Look at his face. This is reverse pigology, obviously. He's, well, I told you guys I was right. He says to his own viewers about how much money they would give him. Really? I told you guys I was right. You wouldn't give me enough money. And then someone, of course, they have to prove him wrong with double digit donations. Yes. <laughs> the late shoes were barely, this is a barely clown show. The goal dude. Every night. Very barely. <clears throat> He's blaming everything else, too, as always. All right. Again, Remember when he like, was gonna no, save no and end the game? And end the stream? From nine ninjas. I can't believe I did that. I wasn't even trying and I found nine ninjas. I can't believe he's stalling. <laughs> Alright. Sylvester Stalin playing Mario tonight. So many I'm stalling. I'm, how can I be stalling? You know no one's gonna tip now. We're way past the time. <laughs> so. So. 
I'm gonna end when I save, you guys. When I save, I'm ending. Saves. The game's auto-saving right now, by the way. It just auto-saved. So the game's like, yo, get out. We're doing it for you. It just saved again. People saying I'm stalling. No one's gonna tip now because it's past the time. What? That doesn't even make sense. You don't actually have a clock in, clock out time, DSP. What the hell is wrong with you? Ah. <sighs> if I remember right, it's a clip I'm playing in the same video too. Or at least part of the video I'm playing in the same video too. He says, we have five minutes left on the stream. I can't go later. And this was like, I think 15 minutes left in the video. So, wow. <laughs> but this dude act like is someone gonna shut him down is the government gonna shut dsp down if he does too much overtime people already assume the stream's over there's no way anyone's gonna save no stream. one's gonna donate because they assume the stream is over fucking what logic is this dsp been streaming every day for like five years look at him staring down stream labs I refuse to believe he's looking at the chat. He look at the chat to point them out, pointing out what he's doing, and then he checks Streamlabs again. Now, yeah, right? <clears throat> no one's gonna tip now. They think so the stream's over. Viewers, Congratulations and welcome. I'm out of here in like a minute. <laughs> Someone just raided with 92 viewers, though. Congratulations and welcome. I'm out of here in like a minute. <laughs> oh that is cool this is why we don't we don't do this as i say uh <laughs> i mean i i guess it don't mean much obviously right this is probably just some random derek who had 90 views and wanted to host dsp i hope they weren't tricked into it but at the same time i actually do hope they were tricked into it they didn't even get their name said holy fuck but he says i got rated with 92 viewers Congratulations and welcome. I'm out of here soon. This is an hour left in the stream, by the way. But he he didn't know he was going to play another hour, obviously. Congra he congratulates the people that raided him. I don't think that's the way it works. I don't think that's the way it works. And I'm not saying you should try to because I, I see a raid as helping somebody out. But you could raid somebody to, like, actually troll. But then it just get fucking swept up anyway. This is DSP. But. Oh. <laughs> I'm not saying you should only try to help out a good streamer. You should only try to help out a streamer who tries. And this is not someone who's trying. Unless attempting to reach the vest streak is some, some form of trying. He's trying to do that. But the person that rated him probably don't know what a vest streak is. It will probably take 20 minutes to explain it. And by the time they realize, they're going to think it's dumb. This dude congratulated the people that rated him. Holy shit. I'm mind blown. Wow. That's such a weird reaction. It's like he didn't know what was going on. That's a brain fart reaction, dude. That's phenomenal. I gotta hear that again. No one's gonna tip now. That's oh, great. Congrats, you rated me. No way anyone's gonna save this now, right? Congrats, congrats. Welcome Someone to the boring stream. Years, Congratulations and welcome. I'm out of here in like a minute. <laughs> congrats, I'm leaving. All right. Holy fuck! I wish I could see the reaction. But this dude was probably in like sub only or something. No, let me not be thinking of it. He was like in his follow only. It's pretty bad. It's a good thing Luigi got caught in those gears. Now we have the master. Because he don't have regular follow only. It's follow only with like time attached to it. You hear me? Am I invisible or something? So you literally can't have a raid on his channel. Let's ask. Now he said to no one in particular. Nobody should fucking raid DSP or host him. He's a piece of trash. He don't care about his stream. No matter. He only care about the, his vest. Uh, Raid his vest. We'll do that, and then Give we'll his vest a TTV account. Oh, wait. Did he just lie again? Well, obviously he did. But we're talking from uh, the future, so we're, we're scamming a bit. Let's see. We'll do that, and then we'll go save right in front of the castle, and that's going to be it for the stream. When I save, I'm in the stream, you guys. Saves. Runs through. Auto saves. 
run some more, does some shit. I don't know what the fuck he just did. Did the raid shout out. I'm going to go save again. And when I save this time, it will be done. I will left in the video. This is before he decided to reward his viewers, by the way. And I love this trash, right? He, I mean, obviously it's all bullshit, but let's, let's go with him here. He rewards his viewers as a whole by playing the game that got the least amount of viewership, the game that gets the least amount of viewership, the game that gets the least amount of tips, which is why he ended up sitting around like this and stalling in the first place. If this is Street Fighter 2, he would have already had the $100, I say. If this is any other game, because he liked to blame the game a lot, he would have already had the $100, right? And he would have been done. I wouldn't have been watching the video anymore. I wouldn't have watched this video at all. This video, would, this video wouldn't exist if he didn't play this game on this night. But he rewards like three dudes that gave him $100 by playing the game no one wanted to see, less people donate for, and a game that overall gets less views everywhere. He plays that for an hour extra. That's a reward, you see. But if he get like 50 gifted subs to hit his sub goal, you have to wait a month to vote and wait two weeks to wait and wait a, and wait a week to wait and wait a month for him to get like three HDMI cables and ask Kekin how to capture it or some shit. How does that make sense? The actual community reward thing is like some stall bullshit and the direct money from one person that doesn't influence or help anyone else in any way in his chat. That gets the reward for the greater good. See, it makes sense if you don't really think about it. I saw the, the treasure over here earlier. So I can't wait for him yep. to save and end the video. I'm excited. I'm excited for it's nothing cool. to happen for the rest of the so video, I guess. All right, how do we More get vest out? talk? Any vesters? We don't ask for primes uh, in his chat, we ask for vesters. Investors. Investors, oh, yeah. if you will, of course. Cool. I do enjoy the gifted right. subs during this. This is overtime? Yeah, it's like five minutes overtime for me to go save. I also like Should how I... he calls it overtime. That used to not be a thing, and now it's it's normal that he calls it this. It's even in his YouTube title, dude. Remember when it used to be a meme to call it shit overtime? <laughs> <laughs> he stream every day and he tell us he liked to stream every day and then he play a Mario game for two hours and he plays for five minutes longer and he calls it overtime he plays for an hour extra after begging for money I mean after sitting around for money oh I'm, I'm reward you and he's gonna tell us the next day I'm pretty sure he was on his pre-stream saying he loves doing this it's a reward for him to keep playing it it's overtime for him to do five minutes extra passes designated ending time. But he loves doing this, dude. See, it's a show, you see. It's a show he's putting on. And people that run shows probably hate those two. All right. Go right over here. Got to go right. save up. I got to make sure I'm not muted. Wouldn't that be some shit? Okay. Oh, there's a toad here. You know what? Something actually... Oh, no, we go, we go, we go. Oh, there's a hidden toad. I thought I had some stall. horrible error going on. Back to normal. What was I? Was I a fish? I hope I was a fish as long as it was an icky bug. I run the fishing experience in front of the house of Tricky Ninja. Stop by and give it a try sometime. So there's a fishing experience? Oh. Right there. I was muted Probably on purpose. Melody's it was an Tuesday. epic joke. Somebody was looking at the screen and they were yelling at the spell. screen right now. Uh, Melody Zelda, I don't know what to tell you. There's no error in tipping because people were tipping all night. I mean, they tipped as early as... as, as what if it's an error for them? Uh, it's obviously trolling, though. Oh, my God. Uh, hey, when you going to save, buddy? Up. Oh, his laptop messed up now. Sure it is. Why is that fish? Huh? I want to try again at some Shogun Studio style fishing. So I'm going to give it a try. 
rule three pass holder. So <laughs> what? I'm actually, like advanced stalling. You realize I just found something new in the game. I want to check it out. He's even chuckling. This is so stupid. Damn. Oh god, look at the size of that fish. It's so fucking weird and disingenuous. God damn. I'm gonna play a game extra and pretend like I'm oh, not shit, I don't know how to and do wait it. for somebody to give me like $70. Did they ever explain how to do this? Uh, like... I don't know. I know I don't want to have anything to do with it. I know that much. Jeez, man. Ah. It's like a dark bathroom or something. What I don't want to have anything to do with it. I'm sorry, is there? I'm sorry someone's gonna have to interact well, with it eventually. Tipper, but I don't want to have anything to do with it myself. Tipping works, tipping works. So it's not that people weren't it's not that the tipping didn't work and that's why we didn't hit it. So the whole no stream one, is about this. No one uh you know contributed enough to hit the tips goal tonight, so it is legitimately gonna end tonight. Alright, can't toot up. Dude, Steven Spielberg could make a movie with all of the fucking clips of DSP just complaining about people generally making money. Right? Or uh, especially his favorite, favorite thing to say in the whole fucking world. They could take a shit and they would make a fucking ton of money. Well, you could take a shit and you would get $100 to put a vest on, asshole. If you stall long enough, it might be a really long shit. He might be on the toilet for like five hours. But he, he would make it happen. He would make it happen. If Mr. Beast did a video and put DSP in it, he would die before the video came out. The video would come out with DSP dying in the video. He would never move his hand. Or whatever the fuck he had, what the, whatever the fuck the asshole wanted him to do. Mr. Beast presents the vest video. <laughs> whoever, whoever moves their hand from the vest first, oh shit, no, whoever keeps their hand on the vest gets a hundred dollars. DSP's there for seven years. I'm working my fucking butt off for this, you guys. You love this. God damn it. Let me just... I need to get my keyboard, because uh, this is this is rough. I'm not going to sit here for an hour and, and watch him stall. This dude's fishing in this fucking game. This is ridiculous, bro. Later, if I thought that people would tip to him, I don't think it's going to happen. The story changes, as you already saw. All right. Well, guys. So I'm going to save, and then I'll quit. He saves. I'm not stalling. Okay, I'll leave and go to the front and save. Then I'll quit. Game auto saves. I'm not stalling. I found a new feature. I'm fishing. Fishes. I'm not stalling. Okay, I'm about to save. Okay, well, if I think people are going to tip, I can play longer. What? The story has changed an awful lot within seven minutes. It went from I can't do it at all to I can if I know you'll give me money, which is a bit of a lame thing to say. I mean, based on how logic works, if you keep streaming, somebody's going to show up and give you a dollar or somebody's going to give you one out of boredom. But... Go on, sis. I guess that's it. See, here's the thing. I would, I would go later if I thought that people would tip to hip. I don't think what's going to happen. I think that this is the end of the street. Shame in his pay like, pigs again. Late, I don't think that we would hit it. So I really don't see the reason. Shame in his pay like, pigs. You... I don't see a reason to play this game. I'm pretending to like. I don't see a reason to play this game. I'm telling you that you like. I don't see a reason to play this game. I'm putting on my schedule, an extra hour. He ain't even telling us time. He don't see a reason to play extra at all. If people won't tip to hit the vest goal. Oh, man, this, this is such a fun Let's Play channel. Holy crap, he upload these every day. Do you guys see a reason for me to go slightly later? I'll just go check out those two houses in the corners, right? But I don't think we're going to hit it. I it's really weird. Hint, hint. If you guys... Okay, if I don't hit the streak goal, there's no point in going extra. I'm not going extra unless you guys think it's a reason to go extra. If I go extra, I'll do this thing that I've already predetermined in my mind. <sighs> let me, let me, let me, let me check OBS. This is very professional right now. I don't think so. Let's see. What, what reality are we in? Are we still good? 
Okay, we good. We good. I just gotta make sure stuff works just in case. I'm not gonna do the boss fight tonight. He had enough time to do the boss fight. I think he ended up doing the boss fight. Absolutely the co Wait a minute! Might as well buy it, right? How long is Tuck? The thing is a fire emblem. Oh. There's so many people who wanted to see me play Is he blaming it? the games? Let's say this. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Let's fucking go. Fire Emblem would kill the streak. I didn't know what would kill the streak. And I hate to say it. I really like first party Nintendo games. But they don't bring attention. Like every first party Nintendo game I play. Mario <sighs> Odyssey. Uh, Breath of the Wild. This has been a thing with DSP. Longer than I've been making videos about him. He's been, he's bitched about Nintendo since the first time he's ever made a video playing a Nintendo game. He's ran away hordes of Nintendo people by either making games boring on purpose for some fucking reason, shitting on them when he played them, shitting on them before he played them, shitting on them after he played them, shitting on the people that played them, something, just something extra they don't really need to do. Right? Don't DSP tell us that he just plays games all the time? So how does weird shit always happen? It fucking beats me, dude. <laughs> um, you know, all the ones that I've played recently, the last few years? But it's like, no shit, people, no shit, your fans don't really care about Nintendo games. You've spent your whole career shitting on them, and for some reason you make yourself play them. Why? He obviously don't want to do it. Look how he act when he play. My oh, man. <laughs> they don't really bring in much attention. I enjoy the first part of Nintendo attention. stuff. Attention. Dollar just sign, dollar views sign. For some reason. Views. I, and, and he mentioned, you know, people to watch it. Contribute. contribute. I don't know what it is. Dollar so sign, dollar felt, sign. I felt that if it was going to happen, it was going to be a leak. Now, this dude's literally blaming the game, right? He's blaming the whole company. For not making enough money. He's, he's, and let's point this out too. He's, he's upset. And he's, he's letting us know that he's upset that he didn't make enough money playing someone else's game. I'm sorry you guys don't give me enough money when I play these games I had nothing to do with making and I've shit on in the past. <laughs> God damn it. I'm just, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just putting a negative spin on everything. Eight night stream of one of these games. It would be like Mario or Fire Emblem or something like that. The thing is with Fire Emblem, there's so many. And he got paid to play Fire Emblem, didn't he? I know people voted for it in some kind of way. I forget how because it's months in between it actually happening. But I know people definitely voted for it in some fashion. I forget if he got paid before the vote or after the vote. But, okay, he's trying to told you so us about this this happened twice in the same video he's told you so and us about this stupid shit for no fucking reason why does he want to be right about this because he's dsp this is very obnoxious i told you guys i knew it would happen well if you knew it would happen you shouldn't play the game if you knew right if you knew you wouldn't make enough money and you knew you would act like a bitch if you didn't make enough money you probably shouldn't have played the game that wouldn't make enough money. Maybe you should have said, oh, yeah, a new Paper Mario game coming out. Well, I didn't play any of the other ones. Why should I fucking play this one? <sighs> Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes so sense. Many people like I said in the start of the video, this is a very, very, very special, interesting, and unique animal. All words that mean a lot. See me play it and campaign to see me play it. While this game, no one campaigned to see me play it. it just happened to be so why is he playing it? Be a new release that I wanted to put into the schedule. Right. He wanted to put it into the schedule. He's not having fun playing it. He should kick it out of the schedule. I want to put games into the schedule all the time. If if I'm not feeling it, it's getting uninstalled. With the swiftness, and it's never coming back. This should have got uninstalled. He's not making enough money playing it, right? He knew it wouldn't make enough money. So thank you for summoning me for the $5 tip. Now I got a $20 tip from Fudgy the Whale. And this is all dumb anyway because the game is irrelevant, obviously. This has been happening. This is 200 and he's at 250 something now. But this is 223 at this point. It has not, well, the game could help, duh. But okay, if the game could help, right? If it's about the game sometimes. Well, why are you not playing a new Fortnite update, asshole? You never want to play those. 
wouldn't it be easy money if you just hopped on Fortnite when the new update came out? Easy vest money? Easy $100? You play it for like two hours? Instead, he plays this shit and then tell us that we don't like it. But then he playing it anyway. I knew my viewers wouldn't like me playing Nintendo stuff. Well, why are you playing it? I thought you played stuff that your viewers liked. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> okay. Everything is all over the place. Nothing makes sense. Nice fucking stalling, asshole. So is he going to go late or not? See, the God, what do you mean? Just, this doesn't count. So let's say he just tipped me $6. We're now up to $67 in tips, everybody. He says, what do you mean? He says, this doesn't count. The dude's trying to tell you that the vest streak won't count. Because it shouldn't. You've literally... Like, this shit technically shouldn't count. This is not how this is supposed to work. But at the same time, it's his thing, so he can make up his own rules anyway. He's already told us if he wanted to go overtime forever to hit the vest streak he technically could so but he tried to act like it has set rules when other people criticize stuff but he's the creator of the stupid thing isn't he didn't he come up with this man it's almost like somebody else did and he just took credit for it like he always do and he never gave credit for it hmm interesting but yeah, it's his thing that he made up. So of course he could make the rules, right? Are we going to get a Vestry rule book one day? Probably not. You know what? I, I could already see it. The little Derek, they send a cheer. Phil, you're going to make a rule book for the Vestry one day? He responds, well, he sends a cheer. If I'm going to make a rule book about the Vestry, why would I go out of my way to make a fucking rule book about something as stupid as the Vestry? And then it's like 300 streaks later. It's still happening. No one knows what anything means. He's doing 12-hour streams. No one's donating. Cat's walking in the room. She's she's asking for money on the stream, too. And then he says, well, I never made a rule book, you guys. We never had any set rules for the vest streak. Maybe I'll be able to make a video about that one day. So we got a crazy last minute rally. I appreciate this guy. Yeah, last I don't minute. Know if we're gonna hit it, but I do appreciate you guys. No shitty, I appreciate it. This fucking uh, money right, sent to nice. him probably should. Ladies and gentlemen, Guy Rogue just hit thirty-three dollars. Ladies you go. and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it is official. Ladies and gentlemen, we hit the tips goal for tonight. But man, that was the no. Absolutely the closest ever. No, it wasn't. Absolutely the. Wait a minute. Missouri Lover just tipped me $33. Scamming. So $33 said, forget I'd help. Literally just got here because I saw you were still on. I'm feeling generous. The street must continue. Thank you, Missouri Lover. What so a fucking you to Guy piece Rogue of shit. And Missouri Lover who both Let me, I want to, no. Let's, let's say this again. I'm going to announce something. I am. I'm going to do something nice because you guys are super nice to me tonight. And you allowed me to hit the, to keep the best goal going. Okay? So there's a poll right now voting for the best. Shit, I want to hear this dude it, message it, again. I'm going to do something nice. Okay. All right. I wasn't expecting to eat. Oh honestly. my god. So now guy wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> I'm killing about, myself nice with this part. So there's a poll right now. So Missouri Lover Fuck. $33 said forget I'd help. Literally just got here because I saw you were Literally just got here. Still on, I'm feeling generous. This Literally just got here because I saw you were still on. So you only showed up because he was still streaming. But you felt generous. The streak must continue. Thank you, Missouri Lover. The streak must so continue. The streak must continue is why he showed up like 25 minutes late. And he's feeling generous. You know what this is? Missouri Lover is that dude I talked about in the start of this video. He did the thing. He did. He did the thing. He showed up. He was like, oh, shit. He didn't hit the streak yet. Damn, I wonder if somebody else is going to say anything. Well, let me, let, me, let me type my message. Hey, Phil. Feeling generous. Uh, long live the streak. I love your streams. I just literally just showed up, Phil. All right, is somebody, is somebody else gonna donate? Okay, this dude sent. He, okay, he he sent like fifteen. He sent like fifteen. Oh man, he said he's gonna end the stream soon. I don't know. All right, in in I send. I send. I'm making big money. <laughs> I rogue and Missouri lover who both tip thirty. They tied, right? Now the vestry continues. I like how okay. he gets thirty-three, thirty-three, and thirty-three. Mer three people, Mar three people gave him the money for this, right? 
and he rewards everyone by playing a game that they didn't even want to see in the first place. But he can set a pole up for what he can wear, what color vest he can wear. He should set a pole up for what his short-term reward should be. Maybe he can blow some bubbles. Merch yeah, he can blow some material. bubbles. Oh, here we go. Tons of insults. You're stalling to make sure you hit the vestry. What a joke. Oh, what a human. Wind your audience and act like you're actually going to let it end. Oh, my God. Listen to this idiot. That is what he do. This fucking idiot. Act like you're going to let it end. That is what he do. This is 20 minutes ago in the same video. He said he was going to be done. He was going to save an end. And he didn't save an end. And then he said he could play longer, but he didn't say he would. And he got more money and he said, I will play longer. Like... All right. Anyway, I think I'm done with this video, though, mostly. $5 said, Dude, I can 100% verify the tipping jar is glitching out, at least for me. No, it's so not. Stop lying. Get out. House back down. He put on the platinum vest, you guys. He ended up getting 171 nice. by, oh, by the end of the stream. Now, what was the exact end? <laughs> Overtime. So, so, oh, yeah, here we go. We want it. Deception. Oh, gonna be it, guys. Now, he talked about this in his pre-streams the next day. Like, it's really kind of funny, honestly how the vest shit is so is so extra and it's the only thing that he could even pretend to have going on i guess i don't know i guess it's something it's just whatever but this whole video this two hour long video from him was him complaining and talking about a clothing item in his chat talking about a clothing item with mario footage in the background and at the end of it he's talking about the clothing item and how it took too long for him to get the money to put on the clothing item and then he starts the next stream the next day and the pre-stream is about how the previous stream he took too long to get money to put on the clothing item he's not looking to give toss in the mouth and he's not ungrateful he's not what's the gamer word entitled he's not entitled other people are <laughs> Super duper overtime. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Oh yeah, he Thank enjoyed it. Supportive. All right, he enjoyed the hundred seventy-one dollars. I would too. Why not? Tonight. Now the thing is, the thing is, guys, I can't do this every night. This was an exception. Exception. All right? So this is the closest we ever have for the vestry ending. If we want it to continue. We gotta try to you know make effort to 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 raise the goal earlier. Okay. Oof. If we wanted to continue, we got to try to make the effort to raise it earlier, says the dude who obviously isn't donating to himself. He tell us he's not donating to himself. It would be ridiculous to think he's donating to himself anyway. He yell at people when they assume he's donating to himself. We, we need to donate enough early. Oh, you ain't doing it. I'm not either. We. Ah, it's French again. Well, that tab out. This this is a long video by accident. This always happens. Uh, Pre-stream August twenty fourth. As a matter of fact, if if you if if you like this video, make sure to go to twitch.tv forward slash almighty underscore Tevin and use your Amazon Amazon gaming account to claim victory royale over five amazing emotes, including Almighty Tail Time. Almighty, oh shit, what's this called? Hold on. Almighty Lurk and Almighty Contribution. This video is, uh, uh, ah! <laughs> all right, free stream August 24th, Batman Begins, Chargeback Sucks. Charge back suck. Charge backs suck. And lies will not be tolerated. 27 likes, 18 dislikes. I don't know what the fuck this video about. I might not even get to the point of watching the actual video. But I skipped around to 11 minutes. He sounded like he was about to complain. So we'll watch this before I move on. I would love to wear the This definitely isn't. This might not be about the vest thing. Body outfit. I really enjoyed Portal 2. It was a great game. So I hope. I can get two wins tonight. It's all the pressure is on tonight for Fall Guys to see if I can get two wins. Keep in mind that sometimes in Fall Guys it has nothing to do with you whatsoever. It's team based, and sometimes your team sucks ass, and you just end up losing an entire round or match because of it. And it's frustrating. So we'll see what happens tonight. An I'm epic very Fall Guys discussion happening right now. Tonight and we can get the people.
like the new stuff should be available in the game. Fall Guys. I'm shocked he's not talking about so the vest, though. It's going to be more Fall Guys. Oh, my God. To argue with PayPal over, you know. That was a long schedule um, segment. Shit. Right, so, real quick. Two things for me to talk about and get a little bit off my How does it take 15 minutes to tell people what games you're going to play for the next five days? What the fuck are you doing in between? It's a mathematical schedule, maybe. First of all, I just want to talk a little bit about PayPal and the chargebacks that I've been getting recently. Dude, do I want to hear this? For purposes. Because you guys have been seeing some weird tips happen on my stream. Some of oh. you see these tips that are very insulting stuff. And obviously, you know, those are tips that are coming in from trolls. Obviously, right? right. And so you're well aware that probably a lot of these are going to get charged. The average viewer don't care about this, though. Over, you know, keeping this money or not. And... You know, this comes with the territory. When you're a streamer like me and you rely on crowd... So, it comes with the territory, but we have a dedicated segment to talk about it like no one has ever heard about it before? This is a fucking snowflake segment. This dude does snowflake segments dedicated to shit and then he tells us that it's normal. He's done 20-minute tirades about the most bullshit of bullshit, only to, to end it by saying, ha, 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 that's life. And I'm sitting there with the fucking question mark over my head saying, if it's life, why you bitched about it so much? Holy fuck. And I'm, at the same time, at the same time, simply saying that's life, like you can say that about literally anything. And I guess either complain about everything all the time or never complain about anything. That's life funding you're going to get people who are going to try to abuse the system and literally break the law because when you fraudulently lie okay you don't have to explain so much companies um you're breaking the law every single time you're committing fraud they clear and my throat, people dude. do it on a regular over. basis because they think they can mess with streamers and get away with it because let's face it no one prosecutes people who do this um how do you know so what's happened to i thought you don't even pay attention to other people is i had a bunch of chargebacks come in because there was a time period near the end of july where we had someone who was coming begging? to the streams on a regular basis and basically tipping. Yo, how much was DSP begging in Gelato? What was going on in July? Remember July? I remember July. I remember the fucking second half of July when DSP was flip-flopping, streaming on YouTube and, and Twitch every other day. I remember July when DSP was resetting his tips goal after hitting his tips goal because he got banned midstream. And then he went to YouTube and reset it and got another $100. I remember July. Wow. Wow. We never talk about this, though. Every time he talk about chargebacks and shit, he never give us the real context to it. This dude loves to give us elongated stories about bullshit. And of course I do, too. But I mean, goddamn. You can't just simply say, oh, yeah, also in July this is happening. So maybe, maybe that's why I got a little bit extra. Oh, no, he just, I was like, oh, yeah, in July, I got a bunch of money from this weird guy. I don't know why he sent a bunch of money in July. Yeah, go back to July. You find massive begging and crying and a bunch of weird Twitter posts and all kind of stupid shit from him. And he act like he, he, he wasn't out there bending over backwards for people money. Feels bad. In other people's names, they would never, like, use one name. They would use a different name. He'd so tell people to use different name. names. Stream chatter. Sometimes they would just make up a name that was kind of stupid. He tells people and they would to do drop that. A bunch of tips, saying. Th I think it's the same person that I was that he was talking about when I made a video about this. It was what? Oh yeah, when he was afraid of losing a charge bag, but he didn't actually lose. Things that to video. derail the stream, and I was very skeptical of counting those tips on many of the streams because I was like, this doesn't seem like legit, you know. Um, well. You know, I disagree with that. I was there when he got some of those tips, if he's talking about the same ones. He checked PayPal the same as he checked PayPal with any tip if it's over like $40. Because for some reason, he don't trust his viewer base of, to give him $40, $50. He's been begging for years. DSP used to make so much money on Patreon. He used to get so much money in bits every stream. And he still gets so much money in donations. And he don't use Muxy anymore. I don't even know if Muxy exists anymore. I don't know if anyone uses Muxy. And he gets like $40. And, oh, 
Let me, let me, let me, let me get my phone, you guys. Hold on, you guys. I gotta check to see if this is, I gotta check to see if this is real. Hold on, you guys. It's not loading. I gotta check to see if this is real. Like, how much faith do you have in your viewer base and you blame it all on trolls? Because only a troll will want to give you a lot of money, right? Because they're pretending. They're faking Streamlabs donations to you. How much faith are you showing in Streamlabs, DSP? Should they tweet you and tell them that that doesn't really happen? Because it doesn't. Ah. <sighs> It's bad, dude. It's bad. And of course, I'm looking at it with a negative, a, a negative sight. But if I was even a mild pay pig to this dude, and I, and I realized the way he acted like this, I would probably just give my, I would give my Amazon gaming account subscription to another way better channel like Cardboard Cowboy. So uh, it's, it's a bit gross, honestly, though. It's, it's, it's just a bit gross. It happened, and now here we are weeks later. These he gets more than $30. It has to be from a troll. It's no way someone would like him enough to give him money. But then the next day on pre-stream, he tells us, you guys love what I do. You guys love supporting me. When the Pignosis segment's starting, and then he forgets his own Pignosis, and he like, oh, everybody hates me. No one will want to give me $40. I don't understand this thing, man. With their, their financial institutions to claim that these were man all you really want to make it extra huh? what's the point of this PayPal. again Can oh yeah he's being a, a boomer right now i don't really want to hear explain. about that then uh, this is not any kind of a purchase this is not something that happened on on you know eBay look how much background else. information is this sells a product i'm a live streamer on twitch he already told us his whole story before he already told us his whole story with the same exact chargebacks but what it'll do is it'll categorize it but he's when being it. like a secretive sandy as he also gives us too much information and talk about stuff that he telling us, he told us in the start of this discussion that this is normal, that this happens. This just happens to people at stream. So why are we having a long discussion about it? Right? I don't know, man. It's like if I look outside and it's raining and I say, oh, it rain every fucking day. And then I talk to you for an hour about how annoying it is that it's raining. Are you going to believe me when I say it happened every day? And if you still believe me that it happened every day, you're going to think to yourself, damn, this dude talk about this every time? He talk about it this much every time? Maybe. Any more than I've missed, okay? And what I mean by that is... Also, his story changed every time we talk about chargebacks because, of course, DSP has been talking about chargebacks for like four fucking years. And he used to say he never lost chargebacks. Then he said he lost some. Then he said he lost other ones. And now he's, he's afraid he's going to lose other ones. It's, it's, it's all bullshit. And it's all, well, that's me looking at him this way. It's, it seemed like a bit of begging, too, because it is from him, because he's done it before and he'd do it in this way. It's, and it's fear-mongering. It's really annoying, obnoxious fear-mongering. And it's like, I don't know. It's all, it's all just nasty. It really is. It's nasty. I guess I'm glad DSP don't play Fortnite because if he did, he would act like this and actual fucking kids would watch him and they would use the Twitch Prime on him and they would fucking give him money from their like parents and shit. They would, he would have a gang of Derricks, multiple Derricks. Oh man, 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 man. He would get, he would get like locked up on his own island if he did some shit like Say, that. For dude. Example, the I world, get... the world wouldn't be able to handle DSP as an actual full time Fortnite streamer. He would be too powerful. He would, the pig gnosis. It would, it would, it would tear families apart. Five chargebacks from the same person. If I put all that information in, I like how he's still it. talking about is, this, but he's not talking I'm about it. the same exact information for every single one of these. It's you not... know what? He's also telling us the exact same information in, like, for some reason, a 10-minute long segment that doesn't have new information. What the fuck is this? Sometimes it might be that behind the scenes I'm checking and it's actually a person I know is a troll, and they're just going to be an asshole and charge me back for it, so I'm not going to read it out then. Why don't he block them? Please understand that, because sometimes... You DSP got... has been block crazy. I ain't really been pointing this out in my stuff. But DSP has been block crazy through Streamlabs. He finally figured out how to block people on Streamlabs, I guess. And he blocks a lot of people on Streamlabs while simultaneously begging for money through Streamlabs. Invest money. 
But then he blocks people that give him vest money because they might charge back because they're a troll. But then if you get like $40, he checks his PayPal because it might be fake because no one wants to give him a lot of money because they're all trolls. I don't know. I don't know. Dives will say, oh, I don't want to hear about this PayPal stuff, though. In his videos to get clickbait views on YouTube. He does not factually... Oh, is this the memology the segment? Are, Somebody going to tell me I say they're I wrong. Said, okay, Everybody well, say they're wrong. It sucks. I didn't beat it today. I'm very angry at the game. It pisses me off. I'll come back to it and... and oh, I hope it's not, the actual actually. end of my stream, and he just showed me... Oh, my God. I was trying okay. to finish up a mission. This is... Uh, 20... All over or whatever. This is where we're going. 2555. No Let's go. Corroboration Fuck, I have to go back even videos. further. On Dude, it's taking him like four minutes to tell us from point a to point b is not even the story point a to point b is the lead up point b to c is the story and it's shorter than a and b by a mile and then you have d to e which is the end of the story which has nothing to do with the actual story as always he's got to give us like a rundown on why he might be mad i guess two who for many years has constantly slandered me. Still on though. They actually don't care. Still got to go back. Thing before we get into shout outs. I have a statement to make. It's very simple. If you don't say the name, I'm, I'm rage quitting this video. I'm sorry. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because it's not worth a lot of time. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, you are well aware there are people on the internet who on a daily basis make videos on YouTube that are less than truthful in order to create drama. Are we aware? In order to get clickbait views from dumb asses on youtube who believe nonsense there are people who just go to youtube now this is this is me looking into it too much but i mean this is what he want to tell us so fuck him he tell us right that people make videos for dumb people to watch idiots they make videos for idiots who fall for dumb shit but then before that he tell us i'm sure you know of these people how would they know they're watching videos for idiots I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think he know either. He just he just saying shit. It's going to take him five minutes to not tell us who he's talking about, huh? Just for drama's sake, they actually don't care if what they're watching is... He's not going to tell us who he's talking about. Or not. They just want he's drama. not. So they just watch garbage on YouTube because that's what they want. I thought they okay? were stupid, though. There's been a content creator on YouTube who for many years has constantly slandered me. And is it, there's a difference between someone who, for example is live restreaming me and kind of lampoons me and make shocker shocker right <laughs> <My God. sighs> let's go back let's go back let's do it let's do it i said i was gonna rage quit it but not yet at least i want to at least i want to hear this again and go over this again i have to dude i have to less than truthful in order to create drama. They say things that are less than truthful in order to create drama. DSP has said this about me. And in order to get clickbait view. Clickbait. DSP has accused me of this. From dumb asses on YouTube. DSP has accused all of my viewers of being dumb. And that's why they watch me. YouTube who believe nonsense. There you go. There are people who just go to YouTube just for drama's sake. Yes. They actually don't care if what they're watching is logically or factually correct or not. They just want drama. Sure. So they just watch garbage on YouTube. Because that's what they want, okay? I don't know what's the point in him saying on YouTube because, of course, no garbage exists on Twitch. You know what? Garbage don't exist on Twitch. There's been a content creator on YouTube who for many years has constantly slandered me. He's accused me of this. It's the slander part. I've obviously made fun of this dude for fucking years. And is it, there's a difference between someone who, for example, is live restreaming me and kind of lampoons me and makes But it's a difference between what this dude doing and what I do even though I've been accused of all of these things he's accusing this person of interesting chin rub thinking emoji hmm <laughs> It's like no no minions we don't like we we like we don't like that guy but he's okay for now. He's not making too much, too much of a rustle. We don't like this other guy that I'm not going to name. That guy, he's not like that other guy who we still don't like. But we don't like him as, we don't like him less. So is this guy. Fulfill, what's his name? That doesn't matter. It's The Rock now. Makes fun of me 
live. You know, take, let's take some jabs at Phil and restream him and make fun of him. Okay. There's a fuck you mean? Okay, everybody get banned for that. It makes it, this is how you don't play and makes fun of me. Okay. There's a difference. This this is how you don't play is okay now. It's a difference between lies being in a video and this is how you don't play. He's accused this is how you don't play is of having lies in them though and being full of lies and deceit and mistruth. But now it's the difference. Man, it's almost like he was saying bullshit the first time. And maybe he think it's more true this time. So now he has to take back all the bullshit he said. Could you imagine? Holy shit. Could you absolutely imagine? DSP don't have to. He's living it. You've accused so many groups of people of so many things based on nothing. And then another person come around and they're doing it more, maybe. I don't fucking even know who he's talking about. And now he's saying those other people I accused this, uh, those other people I said did this stuff, they didn't really do it. This dude's really doing it. He did that shit with Superhound, too. Oh, those people I've been saying were trying to end my life and ruin my career, and they didn't want me to live, and they wanted me to die. Those people, they're not as bad as this guy. You fucking Dragon Ball Z episode piece of shit. That's really, that's really kind of what it is. You think you've met the most powerful minion. No, the most powerful uh, whatever the fuck, right? And it's like, no, this guy's even stronger. But we didn't know about him until just now. So how strong was he really if he was hiding so much? That's what DSP, that's what his universe is. I remember when the SOK, when, when they was the worst. No, the KWO. They were the worst thing that could ever happen to DSP, right? No, before that, you see what I'm doing here? Before that, uh, what was it? What was it? What was it? Uh, I was good at coming up with stuff in this video, too. This is the part where I would have to look at chat, Rip. Well, you know what? I don't think they would have came up with this one either. Because there's so many other ones. You have Steve Jones. That's one. Uh, fuck. DSP Cold Leader? DSP Cold Leader. That might have been the first one. But it was like, oh, this is the worst thing that could ever happen to me. They're trying to end me. They're trying to do this. They're trying to do that. And then another one come around. Oh, that wasn't, that, that dude wasn't really that bad. That guy was actually kind of okay. This guy's horrible. And then a, a new one come around and he's like, oh, yeah, remember the last dude? Uh, we, we've moved past that. This new dude's awful. It's been there for like a decade. It was KWO, and then they went away, and he was like, oh, they wasn't really that bad. And then it was this, okay, and they went away, and it was like, oh, shit, they was worse. And then it was me, and then I, I guess, well, I, I fucking got suspended from streaming on YouTube, I guess, right? And then it was Super Puppy Media, and I don't know what it is now. I think it's it's just, you know what, this is like the filler episodes. This is when Vegeta hang out with his kids. That's what DSP doing right now. He's trying to keep the vest floating. Until, like, Kojima make a new game or something. It's between someone like them versus this kind of guy. Now, this kind of person, I feel, is bottom of the barrel, okay? Someone who literally... He said this about me, by the way. But this person's different than me. I'm better than this person, apparently. That's what he's trying to imply, I think. But I'm all of this... He's, he said I'm all of this stuff, too, though. Fabricates things. They fabricate things. I've been accused of this, too. In videos to make me look bad. Even though I go out of my way to not say stuff and people get mad at me for it. And I apparently make shit up. God damn it. So that they can get clickbait views. That's with fucked no up, dude. no actual corroboration factually That's fucked up. of what's going on in these videos they're making. They just make shit up. I'm sure they do, the SB. He won't tell us who this is, huh? Get attention, okay? This one particular person on YouTube. Almost. Made videos that were factually incorrect. There was a video they sure made they years did. ago when I was playing this game. Remember years game ago. Where you were fighting giant green orcs that looked like they were from Warcraft. And it was kind of like Attack on Titan. You were going around with swords and chopping their fucking limbs off. Gory blood was squirting all over or whatever. This is about right? mythology. Um, I can't remember the name. I want to... Uh, see, this, this shit frustrates me. I know what he's talking about. But I love how he remembers that this happened years ago, right? He remember that this happened years ago. He remember that he was mad at this years ago. He remember how he was wronged so much years ago. 
But he don't even remember what actually happened. He just remember that he was mad. I remember that this guy pissed me off, but I don't really know why. I just know that they lied. Maybe you, you probably should have got over it then, dude. At least when people make fun of DSP, they can bring up shit. DSP hates someone. He can't even say what they did. He don't remember. Eh, I'm sure he don't. Maybe he just don't want us to fucking look it up. But I know what game he's talking about. Halfway. He got it for free. It was, it was more or less an influencer game. And it wasn't good. And he still played the whole game. But he quit it one day. I think he might have quit on time. I don't fucking know. But he quit it one day. And the video was uploaded saying that he rage quit. And then he was, he, he, he read because I didn't actually rage quit. And he probably made himself beat the game because of that got uploaded low key. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. He probably might have made himself beat the game because of that happened. But I believe that was a mythology video. I don't fucking know. He don't know either. He's the one mad about it. Game anyway. But it was a terrible, terrible game. The game really sucked. But I was one of the few people who actually played this game from start to finish. Okay, I Snowflake actually beat segment. it. Snowflake segment. I one of the very few people who beat this game. Most people. He can't even name the game. He can't even name the game. He can't even name the game, and he's too much of a bitch to name the person that that's wronged him so bad, right? And if he named him after this, well, I'm sorry, DSP. I guess you won some fake fight. You're right. You called it. You feel better about yourself now, bitch? Do I have to write you a fucking email? Because I'm not watching the rest of this video. This is, this is a clown show. Let's move on to the other clown show, Fall Guys. <laughs> That's such bullshit, dude. That's such bullshit. But let's, let's go. We got some Fall Guys. Some Fall Guys vest type. And we have, I labeled this clown tweet in OBS. Okay, y'all. It's time for another delicious helping of Fall Guys. What the fuck is this word? What new outfits can I get? And will I get some more wins? He lists outfits first. I thought kids only cared about that kind of stuff. So let me get it straight. This dude can't play. He can't play Warzone. Right? Uh, uh, literally Call of Duty in battle royale form he can't play that because i don't know and it also has like stupid stuff like skins and costumes for kids blah 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 uh he he also can't play fortnite for the same reason and you know what fortnite is it's fortnite he can't play that because that game is stupid and it's for kids and it's all about like loot boxes and skins and season passes it's not a season pass, battle passes. Fall Guys has a fucking battle pass, by the way. But he's playing this. He wants to play this even more. He wants to play it more on top of more. But it's got these weird elements that he hates, right? <laughs> oh, God damn it. Whatever, man. Whatever, whatever. But it's like, it's not even... Out of all of the things. Out of all of the things. It's almost... It's like... Would he die on a hill for Fall Guys? Maybe. Maybe Fall Guys is his Overwatch. But like outfits. I thought I thought he didn't care about that because he was a grown up. But how, how much uh how much is the red vest winning in the poll? Let's set up a poll, you guys. I check which color vest I put on. Let's find out on another exciting chill stream. The Dragon Ball Z announcer for this tweet. Then this one. What a, what a stream of Fall Guys. It was all on the line as I was playing my final match of the night and I hadn't hit the tips goal to keep the fast streak going. Did I get the win and keep the streak alive? Find out as I'm uploading right now to DSP Gaming. I don't think DSP has ever tweeted like this before. This is a pure shill tweet and it's clickbait too. Did I do this? Watch my fucking video to know. What the hell is this? I thought he don't even make money from YouTube. Why the fuck is he plugging a YouTube video? He would make more money if people watch the archive on Twitch, probably. He should turn sub-only archives on. But then, wait less people will watch his shit then. People would pay for it and just not watch it. You know, how, you know the vibes. Well, yeah. Is that actually it? Did he even tweet it out? 
dude, he, he didn't even post the videos. Bro, DSP fell into a drunk stupor before he could actually tweet out the videos. And Derek is the first reply. Oh my God. Okay. 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 Let's, let's, that's gone. That's gone. We got like 10 minutes left in this probably. But we got Fall. It's, let's be right. It's more than 10 minutes. Fall Guys Fun. August 24th, 2020. Losing streak. Invest goal suspense. This is obviously from the 24th. And then he played this shit again on the 26th and look at the title fall guys fun august 26th vest streak on the line can i get the win fucking amberlynn title dude trisha paid his titles what the fuck this is dsp now this is dsp now he gets a hundred dollars to put clothes on and he uploads amberlynn clickbait titles and the thing you should focus on, look at this. I, I just noticed this too. I'm being a real asshole about this. Vest streak on the line. Can I get the win? So the vest streak is the most important thing in the video, right? Or is the most important thing in his mind, right? And then it's the win. The win is secondary. Only to the, the vest streak is the real win. In reality, the vest streak is the real win. That's right. But this is a good timestamp. Right. So he's at $80 into the tips goal. Uh, 731 subs don't even have a sub goal. He's in sausage mode. He's having fun. He's vibing. Well, no, he's not, actually. He got to hit the vest goal. Last game of the night right now, everyone. And this is it. There's le nine minutes left on the stream, guys. That's it. And uh, we haven't hit the tips goal. So I just want to say thank you guys very much for five awesome months of support. The vest goal was super fun when it lasted. Um, you guys helped me out a ton. At this point, it looks like I'll probably be able to at least afford one of the new consoles coming up. But it looks like the vest goal is coming to an end. So everything else is kind of uncertain then. You know, I was talking about maybe doing stream improvements and stuff. But since the vest goal is ending tonight, uh, we'll just have to see what happens in the future. All right. But thank you for wow, I'm me shocked. Out the I'm shocked. I never noticed that. So 255 vest streak. That's minimum $100 multiplied by 255. It's obviously a lot of money. He tells us as he thinks this is going to end. He's pretending like he won't even get any more donations for the rest of his life or something. What the fuck is this? But he says he can afford one of the new consoles coming out. You sure? How much are they going to cost? 20 grand? Damn. Maybe only streamers will be able to fucking play them. They cost that much. And then he says he was thinking about doing some streaming improvements. And then he trails off. So he can't improve his stream unless he keeps the vet streak up and undisclosed amount of time. 255 times $100 isn't enough to upgrade his stream. He needs even more. But he's not looking to gift toss in the mouth. He's not greedy. He's not the gamer word. He's not entitled. He's just being real. You know what? He is. The past five months, I really do appreciate it. It's sad that it has I got to hear this again. This is pretty good. Five awesome months of support. The vest goal. Five months of getting two hundred dollars every day he streamed, and he still can't up, uh, upgrade his equipment unless he gets more. Dude, you need to go play some Minecraft. It was super fun when it lasted. Um, you guys helped me out a ton. At this point, it looks like I'll probably be able to at least afford one of the new consoles coming up. But it looks like the vest goal is coming to an end. Why is he looking at his calendar for the vest goal? So everything else is kind of uncertain. Then you know, I was talking about maybe doing stream improvements and stuff. But since the vest goal is ending tonight. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens in the future, all right? But thank you for helping me out the past five months. I really do appreciate it. It's sad that it has to end tonight, though. Okay. <clears throat> wow. He does this almost every day, by the way. This little speech when he says, I think it's going away. Thank you for the money. Oh, well, tomorrow we'll do this if it doesn't. Like, it's the same shit. We, we about to hear right now. It's the same shit. I don't wanna. <laughs> oh, Once this round ends, I'm done for the night. Whenever I get eliminated, it's over. That's the end of the streak. So it's eight minutes left in the video. All right, I'm not. I think it's over. I think Derek gets him to talk. 
case it's the second. Oh. Oh. This is it. Once I'm dead, I'm dead, guys. It's the end of the stream tonight, and that's it. It looks How like much time over. to tell the us this? Over. All right. So I guess what I'll do is. And this is another thing. He criticizes his chat every pre-stream. His first stream, every pre-stream. I'm not about to look that shit up. Fuck that. He critics. He criticizes his chat every pre-stream. Oh, uh, well, if you guys want to help out, we can hit the tips goal early. I can put the vest on early. And people won't go crazy towards the end of the stream. But he's like. Vest guys, you guys. Vest guys. Vest goal, you guys. I don't think we're going to hit the streak, you guys. I don't know if we're going to do it, you guys. I don't know if we can do it, you guys. I don't know if we're going to do it, you guys. I don't know if we can do it, you guys. I don't know if we're going to do it, you guys. No, Derek. I don't think we can do it, you guys. I don't know if we're going to do it, you guys. You can't even see his chat on his YouTube upload. How was the chat so offended, offending to him? No one gets to fucking see it except the people that show up to the stream the exact moment it's happening. And if you're watching his stream on like a restream archive or something, you might not like him that much anyway. I don't know what's the point in that shit, really. I, I, whatever, let's just move on. After t tonight, on Wednesday, we'll have to talk about what we want to do. If you guys want me to remove all the vest uh, emotes. Look how fast he wants to do this, too. If he didn't hit the goal... Well, this is this is all part of the game, and when I say it's part of the game, this is it's part of the marketing. When, and when I say it's part of the marketing, I mean it's bullshit, right? It's bullshit. He sits up here, he he, he he's 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 sad facing. He's Michael Cole, he's acting like he's so sad. Oh yeah, man. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to get rid of the emotes. Why would you get rid of this shit so fast? This dude had a dab combo emote. He might still have a dab combo emote. And you can't pay him any amount to do it. But if the vest streak stop, he's going to get rid of the emotes the next day? Fucking what? Well, you want him to sure stay. You got to talk about, uh, you know. Why do you have multiple vest emotes anyway, you fucking uncreative asshole? What do we want to do with all the vests? It's the end of it. Do you want me to do something different if we do happen to hit a tip skull? And then he says, what do you want me to do with the vest? What do we want you to do with your own private possessions? What do we want you to do with clothing items you own? <laughs> this, like I say, this is all part of the game. What did uh, a, a, great, a great spokesman and, and chairman, Booker T, once said, don't hate the player, hate the game. And I'm definitely hating on the game at this point. This is all part of the game. It's massive bullshit. But goddamn. For the Derek's at home that's taking it serious, I feel bad. I, I feel bad, I'm not going to lie. Or do you, you know what I mean? I don't know if we want to it's so it or dumb. what. And the pay pigs hate them too, low-key, because all of them sitting at home waiting for somebody else to give them money. It's, it's almost like no one actually likes the vest goal, but the vest goal has to continue because DSP has told people that they like the vest goal, and people that like DSP give DSP money to keep the vest goal up. And other people are just being good actors. This is a shit ton of good actors. They're just, oh, yeah, Phil. We, we're almost going to hit the goal, Phil. He'll have like $20. We can hit the goal, Phil. They don't give him any fucking money. They have a gifted sub. And, and he takes it, I think he takes it serious. Like, I don't know. He might be acting too. And I've talked about this in the video before. If he take his viewer base 100% serious, man he has some problems and he is going to have a lot of a lot more problems one day and i i it doesn't mean anything for somebody to say they feel bad so i'm not going to say anything it was a good run though over five months man over five months of overwhelming support it was really nice so thank you guys for that yeah you told us already okay you already said this dude you want to pull out your microphone well, let's see if we can get that last win tonight <laughs> Oh God! Okay, so orange. It's not like he was about to burp or something. Orange, so too. the gray vest gets some love. Oh, vest goal. He's he's hit it, you guys. It was only twenty dollars. He's acting like his what viewers won't give him twenty dollars. I just noticed that twenty dollars. He's eighty dollars out of a hundred, and he's shaming his audience like this. You broke fucking pay pigs. You're not gonna give me another twenty dollars. You don't have it. You don't have it in your wallet. RBG fan cheer says, "No, you have to send the tweet." 
We can't let the trolls alert, alert. And then AWC rates at $20. It says, never on my watch. We will prevail. That's the dude that take it serious. Look, he's still playing a game. Wait, did he get eliminated? Oh, he didn't get eliminated. Let's see what he said. Then. And we got the Peabody suit. Now remember, here's the cool thing. When I play this again, and it's all really I'm going to get to see. I'm he's already that. played it again. Like, Hail Mary final tit to lock it in. Thank you for keeping the vest streak alive. And I appreciate that very much. Man, he was quick to end that video. $20 at the end is a Hail Mary tip. What do you call a 20-yard pass? A Hail Mary tip. He has a $100 tips goal. We can just straight up say $1 is one yard. Yeah. To be fair, he pre he pretends he liked he liked the Jets. Maybe they throw in twenty yard hail marys. But here we have Fall Guys again. Vest streak on the line. Can I get the win? And uh, this was like this just happened. And he's having so much fun. Just look at his face. Sixty four dollars in. Six hundred eighty eight subs. He lost a good bit of subs in the last couple of days. But the thing is, he always lose a lot of subs when he lose subs. Because he gets a lot of gifted subs. It's, that's the way life works, man. After he complains about it for 20 fucking minutes. But this will be the last video then we're done. It'll be really messed up if there's no hexagons left. Oh, and this is him scamming too. It actually worked out for him. Oh, wait. Did it? No, it didn't. It worked later. This first time he did it, it didn't work. It's uh, amazing gameplay. Else. Fall Guys should be banned from getting uploaded. You should only be able to stream this and not even upload it. All right. I'll play one more round and that'll be it for Like, that. dude, like looking at this shit and not even having a chat to look at. And I'm saying this as a person that watch, not as a person that, that would be playing. It's nothing. It's nothing. DSP can't carry anything, dude. He can't. That's what make Restream so fun. You can read his chat. You can read your own chat. And if you're really bored, you can actually pay attention to DSP doing something. But if you only can pay attention to DSP doing something... Yeah. <laughs> Win, lose, or draw. Whenever this ends, this is it. So this is it, guys. Like, literally, this is your last chance to tip and continue the vest goal. It's about to end for good right now. Sure it is. Oh, I earned the chicken outfit. Cool. This is it, guys. This is 55 minutes into an hour and eight minute long video. The final round, since I still have five minutes left, I don't want to waste it. This is a great quote, by the way. I have five minutes left. I don't want to waste it. What? What does that even mean? You have five minutes left on your designated end time, like, weird gamer schedule? Five minutes? And then you play longer than that anyway. Man, it's almost like it's bullshit, huh? Weird. But if I lose, it's over. <sighs> if I lose, it's over. Did he actually win? Yeah, he ended up winning the game this time. Just to spoil it, we already been here for long enough anyway. He wins the game of Fall Guys. He literally wins the whole the whole match. Like the, he wins the lobby, and right before he wins the lobby, he gets the money to hit the tips goal. So it's an epic fill moment. And he don't even tweet out the actual videos. God damn it, dude. God damn it. We'll do one final bubble blow of the night here. Yes, DSP does this now. If you don't pay any attention to him, he, this, is, this is the thing he does now. He blows manual bubbles like a child, like an actual child. He gives us the angle. He has the tiny little stick. He don't even have, he don't even have name brand bubbles. Ah, oh shit, it went in my eye. That's not good. That is not good, dude. I told you guys there's no- Maybe do, maybe do. I don't think those are name brand bubbles. I don't know, bro. I don't know. But Overtime. yeah, he, he blows bubbles now. And it's really dumb because he blows bubbles, I guess, randomly. 
This is a celebratory bubble blow for not hitting the vest streak? Just, this is the final round. This is it. I have to go or else my wife will be very, very furious with me. Really good clip. Really, really good clip. 55 minutes in, right? An hour and eight minute long video. I have to leave in five minutes else my wife will be very, very, very furious with me. He chuckles. He stalls in this stream a little bit low key. Well, not really. But a game of Fall Guys is in five minutes and he know that and he wanted to win, didn't he? I don't know how much, like how much of this is true. Because if it's true that she get mad at him, that's pretty bad for him. This dude has a house based on playing games. If somebody moved in with him and they're salty because he's playing games, that's ludicrous. And I'm sure somebody could say, oh, but Tevin, that's his wife. And what if she want to spend time? Well, what if he want to get his, get his dick sucked when she at work? Can he get salty at her for being at work? That's a bit of a yikes, but I'm glad I don't have to deal with it at least. Like I say, it's like a dog bathroom. I'm sorry he got to go through it and got to deal with it, but I'm glad I don't and I never want to. <laughs> so. It's not like he just fucking around for real, right? Isn't this supposed to be his job? Oh, that's a bit yucky. Mm -hmm. And I remember a long, long time ago when DSP was pretending to be single and he was literally with Cat. He was telling us, yeah, man, now that I'm single, I'll be able to stream longer. I might be able to play games at midnight again. None of that stuff ever happened. And you know what? This is my last point. For the, this is my last point for now, at least. His streams are longer now if he don't hit the vest goal at night. So that's good. Last chance, guys, to continue the vest streak is right now during this final game. At least he didn't play an hour extra. If I extra. get eliminated, that's the end. Shit, I said I wouldn't pause again, but I have to bring this up because I won't ever have another chance to bring it up. He leaves the names enabled, right? Look how stupid this looks. This looks, this looks visually annoying to me. And we know how DSP is about being troll. We know how fucking weird he is. So if this penguin dude, right, or if this little dinosaur, or if this little boxing dude was named Tevin or was named Leanna, or was named Panda something, or named, like, Horse Got Blacked or some shit. He would disable all the names and never turn them on again. So why are we looking at this visually unappealing trash? Well, why are we leaving the names on screen? What's the point? So we know who's DSP? Maybe you can figure that out based on who's in the middle of the screen. The dudes that have 20... Just a random aside, whatever the fuck it's called. Oops. Get it's up. just one of those things. It's like, I know the names being on screen. Soon as someone pops up with a name that he don't like even a little, it's going to go away. And then people are going to say, Phil, why don't you turn the names on? Then he's going to shame him for asking for the thing that he used to do anyway. Good. <laughs> well. That's the way it works. not looking good for my last game of the night. Let me tell you. My last game of the night. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I um, I quickly found the part that was accidentally muted. Don't worry. We're going to make this even better. We're going to fix. We're going to turn this lemon into uh, a ninja ninja guinea. That's it. We're going to turn this lemon into a ninja guinea. We got to go back to the part where he clutched his chest because that's when I muted myself by accident. I know exactly how I did it, too. So I'm not that mad. When he was saying, oh, it's all on the line. All right, well. Let's see. Will I be able to find it? Wow. Made it. Was this it? Fuck. All right, well. I we'll really have don't want to skip around in more Fall Guys footage, but it has to be done. Derek says, if we do reset, is the first just Vest Streak 50? Dude, I don't know. Derek, are you dumb? Yes. Why am I being so mean towards Derek? Derek, <laughs> I'm glad I rewinded now. I'm not glad I fucked up the video. But whatever, let's just let's just go it. Let's just go with it anyway. Let's wow, hit this if again. If I turned around, I probably would have survived, right? Hmm. Derek says, if we do reset, is the first just vest streak fifty, dude? What? What? 
Derek says, if we do reset, is the first just if we do reset, it's the first Vet Streak 50. Holy marble mouth by DSP, first of all. Second of all, why the fuck would it reset to 50, Derek? Such a dumb question. Oh my god, that doesn't make any sense in any context. I guess it would in DSP land, right? DSP would reset something from 257 and reset it to 50. What fucking sense would that make? Vest Streak 50? Dude, I don't know. He don't know. Of course he doesn't know. He's DSP. Why would he know anything? He doesn't, he doesn't know. No one knows. Okay, this is where we was going again. Back to this part. Oh! Oh! Good. It's pretty much nothing else in this anyway. Just his, okay. his extra reaction oh. here. This part is amazing. But yeah, I, like I was saying when I was muted, he did this. I mean, he pointed out himself. He tells us. The only reason he even cared was because it was about the vestry. If he hadn't already had $100, he wouldn't have gave a fuck about this. It's Fall Guys. Who cares, right? It's just Fall Guys. But he's clutching where he think his heart beating implementation would be. His heart implant, maybe. I don't think they go there. And when I clutch it, I'm just grabbing at my chains. So I don't really know what the hell he's doing. But he's like, oh, my God. Oh. We almost didn't hit the vest goal, you guys. We almost ended the vest streak. It's still going. It's still going. That was close, dude. Oh, yeah. And let's not forget, 55 minutes into this hour and eight minute long video, he said his wife was going to be very, very angry at him if he stayed longer than five minutes extra. And he run ads when he's done with his stream. He turned his slideshow on and he run ads. It's like 30 seconds sometimes. Sometimes it's five minutes. So he did that too. And he's sitting here chuckling. And I was saying, I was saying, I, I'm going to say this a bunch now. I was saying when I was muted, if she actually is mad at him for literally doing his job, that's pretty bad. And before you say, well, Tevin, that's his wife. What if she actually wants to spend time with him though? Well, what if he want to get his dick sucked when she at work? Can he be, a, can he be mad at her for being at work? I mean, I guess he can, but he would be a childish asshole. So I, I hope he just lying on her because he does that with everybody, anyone who's ever had any private discussion with DSP. You can best believe he's exaggerated or lied or like spread out, spread out the truth about what the fuck you said to him. 100%. That's just what he do. That's his thing. That's his gimmick. At least it's one of them. So I'm hoping he doing it, or at least he did it this time with Kat, because if she mad at him for streaming extra to literally make $100, how mad would she be if he didn't make any fucking money? It's, it's, it doesn't make any sense. It's not like he actually fucking around. Isn't he supposed to be doing this for his job? I don't know, semantics. <laughs> it's Troll epic footage. Yeah, he's like, nah. Ah, stop. Oh. I've streaming a while. I'm not looking at the viewers. On the line. This is the most viewers I've streamed in a while. I'm not looking at the viewers. Epic chat reading, by the way. You you literally read out loud the post to point out how you're not paying attention to what the post's pointing out. What's the fucking point reading it? <laughs> I have no idea how many are here. Everything is on the line. And, uh, yeah, DSP gets a lot of viewers at the end of all of his streams now because people show up, literally hundreds of people show up to see if he didn't hit his vest streak. And when he hit it, hundreds leave. Like if he got fenced since 30 minutes left in the stream. It's actually quite, quite phenomenal because it gives him a view count and it gives him, like, it, it would make him feel better about himself to see the views go up, but then he will realize the views only going up because people seeing... People showing up to see him not make money because the views don't really go up if he hit the goal already. But if he, if he didn't hit the goal, it's like people show up and they stay there and more people show up and more people show up and more people show up and they all stay. So even if he wanted to brag about how much views he was getting, it would only be him kind of pointing out how he's not getting any money. He's, oh, he should run ads for him. You should spam the ads to the vesters. It's all over. 
If he loses all over you guys, the oh, best maybe. streak's gonna end. <laughs> oh, slime climb! Oh man! Uh -oh. Yeah, he ended up winning slime climb. He ended up winning the whole game. With his scam that the chat told him to do. He already did this because he watched like a Tim the Tap Man video or something. But the chat told him how to do it in a slightly different way. All right, he did it the slightly the different way and like literally this. won. What an amazing game Fall Guys is. This is the meta that guy said. The meta game of Fall Guys. DSP didn't want to do the meta game of Fortnite. He didn't even want to put up a wall because he hated building as he played the game. But he's doing the meta game in fucking Fall Guys. I jumped, it didn't work. How does it make sense? It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. I may be good. Yeah, he won. Here you go, That's Media amazing. Tone X Nitro tipped a dollar and he says this strategy works. It's set up that way so you can have two sets of floors. You yeah, I amazing. Did well, that's how you do it. After almost yeah, everybody should no, play that way. <laughs> Look how fast the video went. God damn it. But uh, yeah, I'm done here. I'm glad I figured out when I was muted and was able to go back and fix it. The video besides that should be good. So uh, big ups, hopefully, and enjoyed this amazing piece of content. And I'm sure the next time I make a DSP video, the vest streak's still going to be around. See you then, dude. All right, Derek. See you later. Have a good night, man. Thanks for stopping by, at least for a little bit.